Okay, today we're going to have a look at the return of Action Force military action figures. Uh, this is not the presentation in which I intended to uh, present these, pointing my cell phone camera at a computer screen. Uh, by now, I'd hope to have a, a figure on hand, at least one figure on hand, in order to do a, a showcase, or a demo, and a review. But that's not going to happen, and, and we all know why. The uh, supply chain problem and, you know, privateers holding cargo hostage, and so on and so forth. But the good news is the uh, company that produces these figures, Valiverse, does have uh, the first shipment in, on hand, and they've begun to ship those out to the uh, uh, crowdfunders. And let me tell you what, this is one of the most successful crowdfunding uh, efforts I've ever seen. Uh, and they, they not only met their goal, but exceeded it. And as a result, not only is Wave 1 in the can, they've also begun production on Wave 2. And the early backers are, are going, probably going to receive their uh, Action Force figures before Christmas. Everyone else, I don't think so. I don't think any of the, the toy distributors are going to have these in stock anytime soon. But what is Action Force? Well, historically, it was the uh, British equivalent counterpart, if you will, to uh, G.I. Joe. The, the, uh, the histories of those two franchises are, are very much intertwined. In fact, in the later days of Action Force, a lot of characters from G.I. Joe uh, were integrated into the uh, toy line, including a couple we'll have a, a look at here in a few moments. Um, now, these figures are six inches tall, one twelfth scale, uh, so they're, they're twice as large as the uh, G.I. Joes from the 1980s, the uh, real American hero G.I. Joes, and indeed the Action Force figures from the 1980s. They are the same scale as the modern G.I. Joe classified action figures, and their accessories are, uh, they appear to be interchangeable. Now, um, I'll also add that these Action Force figures are extremely articulate, and what I mean by that is they have multiple points of articulation, far more than the uh, Star Wars figures we played with when we were youngsters, um, and even more than the uh, G.I. Joe figures from the 80s we played with. And all we can really do at this time is just have a look at some of the uh, the figures themselves on the website here. And we'll start with Steel Brigade. Now, this is a, a troop builder. Uh, G.I. Joe fans may remember the Steel, the Steel Brigade mail-away figure in which you created your own bio and became this figure. Same gimmick. Doing, they're doing the same thing today. You can uh, fill out uh, a form that's uh, sent back to you as a PDF file in, in the same vein. But um, now... Uh, Let's see. We'll click on that so we can get a close-up there. I do apologize for the reflection. Again, this is not how I intended to do this. I'd hope to have uh, a couple of these on hand at this point to uh, to to showcase. But we'll uh, make do the best we can here. So as you can see, uh, poses quite well here. Nice accessories there. I'm loathe to call them weapons for reasons, but... Um, here we go. There's what he looks like without the flat jacket on. Uh, you can see all the different joints here. Now, uh, they're already warning customers to, uh, if you get tight joints on these, to uh, take a hair dryer on low setting to these to uh, loosen them up or put them in, you know, some warm water uh, to get those loose from the factory so that you don't break these things. That's the thing about modern toys, folks. Uh, uh, they're not as durable as um, toys were when we were used. Uh, Primarily because of the huge amount of posability and the multiple points of articulation. Uh, some companies like uh, NECA and uh, Super 7 are notorious for shipping broken figures from the factory. Meanwhile, Valiverse has gone as far as to put out some PSAs, some videos, some tutorials on how not uh, to uh, be disappointed when you're trying to pose these things by uh, you know, putting out the fire before it begins. I thought that was a pretty smart move. As you can see, that comes with a lot of different hands with, you know, you know, with a trigger finger or a fist or, you know, all these different configurations for posability and also some uh, holsters and ammo pouches and so on and so forth. Uh, really cool looking figure in my opinion. Let's move on to the next photo. There we go. Just everything that comes with it. Uh, price points on these, uh, I think this one's 32. I can confirm that. Uh, and you may scoff at paying $32 for uh, an action figure. Well, uh, I do as well. However, that's perfectly in line with what toys cost today, folks. Yeah, I don't like it, and I'm sure a lot of viewers don't like it either. But uh, that's, that's not outrageous. 
a good looking figure though. And uh, they they all come with a stand with the pegs on them for you to uh, uh, pose them on. I think that's 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 classy move to uh, to include a stand for each of them. Typically, you have to, to purchase those on the aftermarket, but uh, I'm, I'm glad they did that. All right, so that's the Steel Brigade figure, and now we'll look at Condor. Again, this is just wave one. There's a second wave in production, even as we speak here. So uh, you can see he's got a, a Union Jack there on his um, armor, so clearly this, this gentleman is British, and... Uh, it's a cool helmet with all the tactical uh, binoculars and everything there. I think it looks really good. And uh, note how realistic that, that grip is on the accessory. Yeah, it's really cool. And uh, there we go. There he is without his flak jacket. And he comes with a, another head. And yeah, the heads just pop right off and you can replace the heads. Very reminiscent of one beach head from G.I. Joe. Wouldn't you agree if he had a red beret on? Look just like him. Okay. Again, multiple fists, multiple hands can be uh, placed in. They'll be careful though. Uh, as again, that's another uh, area that you could easily break if you're not careful. Okay. Loaded to bear. Now, not all of these figures are 32. Some, some without accessories are only 22. And I'll show you some of those in a few moments. Okay. So he comes with a helmet with all the tactical stuff. That's cool. Very cool. All right. Next we'll have a look at the Bone Collector. This is one of the baddies. I've, I have not, I've not researched the, um, the mythos. The, uh, there's, a, there's a line of comic books out there. Uh, on their website that you can purchase. I've purposefully avoided the mythos because, uh, you know, I kind of like to make up my own. And that's, but check that out, that, that, that helmet. That, that is removable. He, he does have a face underneath. Look at the, uh, the, uh, the ammo there on the, uh, on the breastplate. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Um, I think the quality of these uh, speak for themselves, at least the sculpts and the design of the figures. Uh, there's, there's his mug. <laughs> he's a he's a, he's a taciturn fellow, wouldn't you agree? And that's why he's one of the baddies. And he comes with some body armor, some uh, ammo pouches and a holster. Looks like he comes with a uh, is that a kukri? I can't tell. It's a it's a long knife, is what it is. And uh, some other accessories. Again, I'm loath to call these what they are for reasons, but. Um, Again, a stand, very imposing. Uh, I think, I think they've, he's done a good job of hiding a lot of the joints, where the you know the bends and the knees and the elbows and stuff on these figures. Okay, there he is again, nice pose. And uh, <laughs> if you want better, uh, a better view of these folks, just go to the Valiverse website, valiverse.com, and. Uh, I think this one also retails for a 32. Now keep that in mind, folks. Uh, when these are available to the public, they're going straight on eBay by scalpers, and they're going to try to sell them for 100 plus. So I encourage you not to fall prey to that scam. Um, I'm getting really sick of scalpers on eBay, and uh, if any scalpers are watching, I I hope you burn in hell. Merry Christmas, everyone. Okay. And, oh, there's a nice shot. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I don't know if he's the main baddie, but he's one of the baddies. Here's another baddie. I think his name is Karak. Yeah. Now this guy. <laughs> I, he's, he, he's wearing what appears to me to be a, a medieval uh, skull cap, a, a bar boot. But he's got this axe, and he's wearing a, a, a what appears to be just a leather vest. Um, this gentleman is not happy. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty, and he's got a, that sawed-off accessory there. That's pretty cool. And 
yeah neat paint job on the helmet too it, it really does look like uh, battered steel okay so he's another of the baddies I don't know if he's the the leader of the baddies or a lieutenant and at this point I don't want to know and again that's a personal choice of mine I like to make up my own uh, uh, stories here when it comes to this kind of stuff okay now we're gonna skip the swarm trooper for a moment for reasons we're gonna move on to <laughs> this gentleman and you probably recognize sergeant slaughter not only as a professional wrestler but also as a character in gi joe in the 1980s i think he was a drill instructor for uh, new recruits and i mean that's certainly sergeant slaughter right there folks look at that chin I think someone, someone on a, a YouTube channel called that uh, America's Chin right there. The uh, shades are removable, as is the hat. That's clearly the Sarge right there. So it's kind of a, a, a callback and a tie-in with the old G.I. Joe line as well. I think that's really cool. And uh, this is sure to be a popular uh, figure in the line. If you ever wonder what he really looks like, that's actually pretty close. They did a great job on the sculpt. Okay, so there's the Sarge. Uh, I'm sure he's uh, he's he's high up on the chain of command in the action force. All right, and now yeah, we'll go on to the swarm trooper here now. Full disclosure, this is the one I've been looking forward to. I think this is the neatest figure in the line. Um, the equivalent of a Cobra Trooper, or if you're into the old Action Force, a Red Shadows Trooper. Uh, just your basic, uh, or, or, you know, from the world of Star Wars, a Storm Trooper. You know, just a, a general uh, bad guy combat trooper is what we're looking at here. And on its own, it looks great, but he does have an, an accessory pack that's incredible. And we're going to talk about that accessory pack for a, for, a, for a really good reason here in just a few moments. But um, I think the reason I'm so drawn to this particular character, or this particular design, it looks so much like um, uh, a superhero I created back when I was a kid for the uh, DC Heroes role-playing game. Uh, with the same sort of uh, B... Uh, wasp uh, uh, design to the uh, to the body armor and stuff. Uh, it, if it had an antenna, you know, coming out the top there, it looked just like him, and I think that's so cool. Um, let's have a look at. Here is without his armor, and uh, you can see this. A lot of these accessories are removable, and on its own, I think that looks pretty incredible. Uh, but once he's geared up, and I'll show you in just a minute what I mean by that. Uh, it, it looks even cooler. Uh, what's he missing? Well, B-Wings, right? No problem. They've got you covered. Uh, this character, I do believe, retails for 32, and we can verify that. Uh, yeah, 31.99. And uh, yeah, this is the one I would, I, I actually pre-ordered back in September, but uh, I've since canceled that pre-order, and I'll explain why presently. I'm going to try to buy this directly from the company very soon. So, uh... Let's just go ahead and show you the Swarm gear pack. Now, uh, we'll, we'll get back to these troop builders here at the bottom in just a moment. But uh, Valiverse has also produced these separate gear packs to put on these figures and to uh, you know, beef up their arsenal of weapons and armor. And we'll just go ahead and show you the Swarm gear pack first. And we'll c come back to these other gear packs later. But there you go. Not only do you get a backpack, uh, a flight suit with the, the B-Wing motif, but also a shield with a little honeycomb design on it. I think that's cool. And, and a couple of other accessories. And once that's all on the figure, it looks tremendous. And uh, I had actually pre-ordered the, uh, uh, the Swarm Trooper and the Swarm Gear Pack. But the reason I canceled my pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store is because they're attempting to uh, sell the Swarm Gear Pack for uh, all the other, except for one exception, two exceptions actually, all the other gear packs are only $12.99. And on the Valiverse website, uh, let's go to the store here. Uh, 
Now they're not in stock yet because again they're still un unboxing these and shipping them to um, um, backers. But through the Valiverse website, these are only twelve ninety nine. Okay, actually gives you kind of a better look here. That's what they're going to look like. That's incredible. Um, Meanwhile, big bad, big bad toy store don't seem to care that there's a, a discrepancy in the price. Um, and from what I understand, other retailers are also trying to charge $17.99 for the uh, Swarm Gear Pack. Um, one of the reasons I stopped collecting toys about 10, 15 years ago is because I kept feeling like I was getting ripped off by, you know, stuff like this. So I'm, I'm not about to, to, to do that again, okay? So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm loath to purchase this from anyone other than Valiverse themselves at... Uh, their established price. I'm not paying five dollars more from companies that uh, think they can get away with ripping people off that way. And that's all I'm going to say about that. It's up to the individual collector whether they're willing to be ripped off to that extent or that regard. But okay, uh, let's get back to the uh, product archives. And again, thanks for your indulgence, folks. This is not how I intended to produce this, but since I don't have the figure in hand to, to show you, uh, this is the only way I can do it, before Christmas anyway. I was hoping to have Swarm Trooper as part of my holiday special in a few days, but uh, it's just not going to happen. Now, we'll get back to these other gear packs in a moment. Let's get back to the troop builders. Now, this one clocks in at $22, uh, you know, at a lower price point than uh, the uh, the named figures uh, we looked at previously. And the reason for that is it doesn't really come with any accessories other than an extra head. And I think that's a classy move right there. And also some fists in a stand. Um, now, uh, this particular figure, uh, probably best suited for special ops. That's why it's called a special ops trooper. If, if you're intent on creating your own snake eyes figure, uh, this would be the way to do it. Um, and uh, there's another one that I think it's the same body sculpt. I think, yeah, just a different paint application with camo. They call this the urban combat trooper. Yeah. Also 22 bucks, and um, the uh, Riot Trooper, which has a, a blue and black outfit. Same scopes as the other two troop builders. And, and so that's, you know, a lower price point, 22 bucks. But you can uh, accessorize these chappies with these gear packs. Here's the Urban Gear Pack, and uh, that retails, if, yeah, I'm pretty sure it retails for... Twelve ninety nine. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, and you get quite a lot of stuff in with that. You get some helmets, or at least one helmet. Yeah, it's a helmet with some different things you can put on it, like binoculars and ear flaps, and so on and so forth. Also, a backpack, and the backpacks are cool because you can actually open those backpacks up and store gear inside them. And I, I think that's that's actually really cool. That harkens back to the days of the. 12-inch uh, G.I. Joe figures. Uh, ammo pouches, holsters for sidearms, and uh, it looks pretty cool. Nice body armor. You could put this on any of the figures. That's the beauty with these gear packs. You can put these on G.I. Joe classified figures. They're the same scale. Okay. And now we'll have a look at the Riot gear pack, which... I don't know if it's exactly the same as this one. It's not. The chest plate is different, but it's molded in black rather than green. And, but there we have it. Yeah, I, I think that looks really sharp on that figure. Of course, I think that's a mock-up figure. That's a gray troop builder. Uh, I think that's just for display purposes. This would look incredible on the uh, uh, special ops figure, which also is all black. So, uh. Yeah, I think it looks really great. And from what I'm told, the uh, the accessories are very, very authentic. Attention to detail on those is, is incredible. Um, and we've already looked at the Swarm Gear Pack. And again, I encourage you to purchase the Swarm Gear Pack at least directly from Valiverse because it's $5 cheaper than it is through all these other uh, uh, retailers who don't even have them on hand yet. It's all pre-orders with them. And I, I, don't, I, I know... Th Five bucks is a fart in a hurricane to most toy collectors. I get it. But to me, five bucks is still five bucks. And uh, that's, that's a, uh, I, I feel pretty strongly about it. Now here's a, uh, and I'm going to call it an accessory pack for reasons. But uh, look at that. 
muzzle flash uh, things you can stick down into the muzzles for display purposes. I think that's cool. Uh, just a new assortment of accessories to, to add to your collection, along with uh, the accessories that come with the figures. That's pretty standard. Even Final Faction figures from Dollar Tree are following that strategy today. But here's a, there's two different accessory packs in this vein. You can read as well as I can, folks. Um, there's a, there's a sawed-off accessory, another one with some different paint applications. What is that thing? It looks like a bill hook of some sort or a sickle. Very imposing. Okay. And now there are some exclusives. Um, here's the uh, Wasp Raider, uh, which it's a recolor of the Swarm Trooper, folks. And it comes with some of the stuff from the, uh, uh, the uh, Swarm Gear Pack. Not all of it, though. Yeah, you actually get more stuff in the Swarm Gear Pack with a Swarm Trooper than you get with the Wasp Raider. I'm, I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, but this is a, a BotCon exclusive. BotCon is the uh, uh, the Transformers convention that happens every year. And uh, this paint this paint job is reminiscent of a particular Transformers character, uh, more specifically a Beast Wars character called Waspinator. Uh, so this is called the Wasp Raider. And uh, it looks cool, but uh, this is going for 50 bucks. Plus tax, plus shipping, obviously, on all this. Um, uh, I like it, but uh, I prefer the uh, paint job on the uh, uh, Swarm Trooper with the uh, Swarm Gear Pack. Uh, but this is still a cool figure. And now this... Yeah. Um, actually, there's one other thing not on here, and that's the Backpack Gear Pack. Which I don't think that's a Big Bad Toy Story exclusive. This is... It's called the Declassified Gear Pack. Now, if, if you're a fan of G.I. Joe, you you know immediately that's Gung Ho's outfit. And, and that's the gimmick here. This is a, available only through Big Bad Toy Store. Now, this is $14.99. Um, uh, I actually don't see it at the moment. Here it is. Yeah, it's $14.99 on Big Bad Toy Store. Plus tax, plus shipping. And um, yeah, clearly that's Gung Ho's outfit, folks. Uh, but, you know, it is what it is, and comes with a little uh, marine hat and the, the vest. Who else could that be if he had a, a marine tattoo on his chest? I mean, obviously, that would be that would be gung-ho, but there you go. That's, uh, uh, folks, this entire line, if you, if you got one of everything, after tax and after shipping, well over $500 for just wave one. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely going to have to pick and choose uh, what I collect out of this line. Right now, my priority is a Swarm Trooper with a Swarm Gear Pack out of Wave 1. Wave 2, my priority is the Desert Rat. And I don't think we'll look at Wave 2 in this video, but um, because I'm not sure I even know everything that's going to be in Wave 2. But if you're interested in these, uh, check out Valiverse.com. And if you're interested in the history of Action Force, check out uh, Analog Toys. YouTube channel. I, I suppose I could put a link to both those channels in the description of this video because they're both very relevant to Action Force. What's my personal favorite? Obviously the Swarm Trooper with the gear pack and uh, it's the best way to get a look at it I guess. All of it together. There you go. I think that you know that backpack and that honeycomb shield uh, looks incredible. And again it looks so much like a, uh, a character that I uh, a, a design I created when I was just a little boy. I mean, this looks much, much, much better. But, uh, in fact, stand by, folks. Okay, very quickly, let's go back to the late 80s here. And there is the uh, character whose name at that point was The Sting. And as you can see, same concept. Uh, they've even preserved some of the uh, striped, uh, you know, the, 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 the bee pattern there on, on, the, <laughs> on the outfit there, particularly on the, on the legs there. It's even more prevalent on the Wasp Raider figure and then you know as my as i got older and my art skills improved just a little bit there he is um in, in a later incar incarnation i mean it you know very similar wouldn't you agree so I, i'm tickled that this figure exists because that's that's who this figure is going to be to me it's not going to be a um security ops for an authoritarian regime it, it, it's going to be my my superhero and uh 
who at this point I, I should probably come up with a, with, a, with a better name for. He used to, I used to call him Buzzkill. I used to call him uh, B Positive. It got ridiculous over time. But um, again, I'd hope to to have one of these on hand. But you know, I, I sat for months and months and months waiting for a big bad toy store to get these in stock, and clearly they're not going to have them in stock before Christmas. So when Valiverse uh, completes, hopefully when they complete their uh, uh, their uh, shipments for uh, crowdfunders for the Kickstarter supporters. They'll uh, get all this stuff up on their uh, website for purchase. And again, I'd much prefer to purchase it through Valiverse directly, based on sheer principle alone, because they're charging five dollars less for the Swarm Gear Pack, and Big Bad Toy Store uh, doesn't uh, seem to care um, that I'm not happy about them overcharging for it. But there you go, folks. That was just a, a quick look at uh, Wave 1 of the uh, new Action Force military action figures that are imminent. They're, they're being shipped out to the crowdfunders now. I don't know if they'll be available to the general public by Christmas. I, I kind of doubt they will. And I also uh, I have no idea when these uh, other outlets are going to get them in stock. But uh, they're coming. They're neat. Uh, I think these are some of the best action figures that have been produced in 20 or 30 years, if I'm honest. And, um, I mean, they are pricey if you're on a budget. You know, they're far cry from those figures that cost a dollar. Uh, you know, those final faction figures from the Dollar Tree. But these have much more posability options, much better quality accessories. And, um, well, I think toy collectors are, are, are going to absolutely love these. I, I am worried that scalpers are going to make these very difficult to uh, collect. Because they're going to buy them, buy them all up from sites like Big Bad Toy Store and other outlets, and then try to sell them for over a hundred dollars a piece on eBay. I am very, very concerned that's going to happen. But this time, at least with Wave Two, I'm not going to miss the boat. I'm going to pre-order a Desert Rat directly from Valiverse, and uh, that cuts out the middleman. Well, okay. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again real soon.